Draymond Green, this guy, when's he going to learn? Come on. When's he going to learn? Gets ejected from a game last night in the middle of a playoff hunt, I do believe, for the Golden State mm-hmm. Warriors against Orlando. Good team. Yeah. Good team. In Orlando, hot, long travel. Draymond Green in the first quarter gets ejected, gets teed up, then lets a ref know that he is a, uh, I believe the, the framing of the word, if I'm a good lip reader, is a uh, a a female dog, right? Uh, ass, mm-hmm. and then a word that if I was to say would end our entire show forever. Correct. Mm-hmm. He said that to a ref on the way out, gets another TC, and he's been ejected. This is Draymond Green basketball. This is what uh, we should just expect to him until he retires. Because, you know, in other sports, like hockey, we talked to Brad Marchand, who's a Boston Bruin and mm-hmm. obviously a superstar. He was a pest for a large portion of his career. Then he got the C on his chest. He became a veteran. He even said, I have to change the way I operate because of who I am now. I can't be as big. Is Draymond Green just going to be this dude until he retires? He or? can't be. He-, he can't be. And watching Steph and look at his emotions. I don't know if he's crying, but I could tell he's exhausted. And if you're Draymond Green... When does it stop? If you're Steve Curry and you're Steph Curry, when have you had enough? Okay? Do you understand the magnitude of that game last night? The Houston Rockets are on their heels on like a pair of church socks, meaning <laughs> that they could actually – the Golden State Warriors are one loss mm-hmm. and one Rockets win away from them being out of the play-in tournament. You're on a back-to-back. You just had a a great win against the Miami Heat. You're going into town playing a tough Orlando Magic team. Jonathan Kaminga is out. Steph Curry is available. By the way, Steph Curry is not 100% healthy, right? Mm -hmm. So he's landing out out there on the line night in and night out. You can see it in his face. You can see it in his his, 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 the, the love of the game and how much he wants to win. And Draymond, you go and do some dumb ass stuff like that. And you could hear Chris, Chris, I mean Steve Kerr remarks after the game. You know, he said, you know, he did it to himself, basically. Like he deserved, deserved it. Deserved it yeah. He deserved it. Steph Curry, we need him on the court. He know what that means. Like, Draymond, at this point, you got suspended. You were supposed to go get help. You were supposed to come back a better man. Now I'm not asking you to change your approach to the game for is your tenacity and your passion. But you're supposed to be able to balance the two. If you're not balancing it, then all of a sudden, then you might need to go get more help. And help is okay. Because I was one of those guys that I led the league in technical fouls. I got ejected a lot, right? And the best thing that ever happened to me in my basketball career and in life, I got in a fight outside of a nightclub um, the sum, one of the summers off seasons that I was playing uh, with the Oklahoma City Thunder. And Sam Presti, who I love so much, is the, gen- the general manager running things in Oklahoma City, does a hell of a job. Got a great eye for talent. Uh, what he's did for that, for that franchise is, has been a beautiful thing to see. Um, a great friend of my, mine that's head of the medical staff, Donnie Strack, you know, great friend of mine. You know, they, they came to me and they said, hey, Perk, look, We want to help you, but you got to want to help yourself, right? I spun two months down in Kansas, okay? And I went to anger management, and I was in there with a whole lot of doctors and nurses and, like, you know, from around the country that, you know, was in there. I literally, my summer was spent in Kansas while I was in class from 8 to 5. And, you know, the first thing that I had to realize was that I had to want to get help and had to have some level of, of accountability. Draymond Green is an intelligent human being, right? And at some point, you got to learn self-control. And I think this offseason, he needs to address the problems that he's having and, and like live in the moment, own the moment. And it's okay to get help, but he got to correct this because right now, like, I, I used to praise Draymond so much for being the leader of the team, the heart and soul of the team. But, like, that's gone out the window. You've been fighting since you came back from suspension to get that, that title back to your teammates. 
And last night, he took 10 steps back. Well, I appreciate you telling your story there. Mm -hmm. I did not know all of that. No. And shout to you and the people at Oklahoma City. I love them. Yeah, that's huge. I love them. Hey, and shout to you saying, yeah, because yeah. you get drafted out of high school mm -hmm. to Boston. Mm -hmm. So life and maturity, dealing with things, you know, people have – development in all that work. That's maturity what you did. And signing up to go do that in Kansas in yeah, the off geez. season? Hey, summer? good for yeah. you, Park. <laughs> Wait, Park. And I assume that's a massive pivotal thing that you did to change and course correct for the rest of your career. Absolutely. Yeah, for me, I, I, I got arrested for a public intoxication. The NFL puts you into this substance of abuse program. 27 months I was getting tested eight times a month by the NFL, and I needed that. Like, I needed that or I was partying too much mm -hmm. beforehand. Made my career so much better. I've tried to talk to young guys that like get caught up in a party room like, hey, after you're done, it'll still be there. And some guys choose to do it and some guys choose not to. But like those moments really saved yeah. lives. Like yes. it saved mine. I assume you feel it the did. same way about it your did. career. It did. Okay, good. So we hope everybody chases that because he's a dad too. Yeah. You know, we just saw his kids. But, mm -hmm. but you just, just in, like you can't do that. And he's smart enough to understand the moment. Like this season... Well, I'm one of the few, or uh, probably the only one that Ben said break it up. Like the All Star break, I thought they should have traded Clay, give him some yep. new life somewhere, whatever, right? But after this season, they have some hard decisions to make, tough conversations. So you, you at least want to try to go out with a bang. Yeah. You can't let Steph. Do you down, think they man. know that? You think they know that after this yes, season, that's, it's going to be some really tough. I mean, but that's why that's why they tried to trade for LeBron James at the All Star break. I like uh, this though. I, if yeah, Steph's gonna yeah. be knocking down threes and giving the sleep, <laughs> I, I, I love that. So I love that. Who is he talking to on the chair? The I, chair? I don't know. Yeah, well, it, well, let it out. I don't give a damn. I love <laughs> it. Hey, as long as you're not getting texts and getting yeah. kicked out. I mm -hmm. guess you were ejected four times, had 102 texts. Hell yeah. Um, Draymond's been ejected 19 <laughs> or 14 times with 149 texts. Jesus. I believe. So uh, 149 technicals, 19 ejections for him. You were ejected four times at 102 techs. Jeez, 15 flagrants. Yeah. So, I mean, that's <laughs> – and this is a topic of conversation, and this guy's multiple-time champion. Yeah. Very wealthy go, man off of basketball. Mm -hmm. Made a lot of money. Been a pivotal piece of this whole thing. And the only highlights we ever see are just him acting like an asshole in a court. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes need that. Sometimes it feels like teammates are like – we didn't need it right now. Three minutes in. Yeah. Show's yeah. Show's wrapping up here on ESPN. We'll continue on YouTube and ESPN Plus with Big Perk on this Sweet 16 Thursday. A.J. Hawk has the final messaging for you. Go ahead, A.J. Yeah, I'm just curious what you are allowed and what you're not allowed to say to these NBA refs before you get thrown out. What well, is the line? I guess that is in the line of the beholder. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, we're off. Okay. We is there a list of things you can't say to them? No. How's it so, work? I mean, look. Ask Kelly Oubre. But but seriously, like you have a relationship with these referees. You know them. You know what I'm saying. You know them. So they'll let you get away with certain shit. Like you'd be like, that's a fucked up call. They'll let it slide. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you take it over the board, you know what I'm saying? Where you you calling them a bitch ass nigga or all this shit like? What he say? Bitch ass nigga, right? Like whoa. When you get to that, that's what it is. Can't do did that. you guys see the ref point though, Perk? Did you see the ref when he teed him up first? He like he pointed kind of in Draymond's face. I would imagine he does not. Draymond didn't love that, like how he was pointing. It was real demonstrative. Kind well, of like AJ saying the refs trying to embarrass. Yeah, Draymond. whoa, instigate. What well, AJ? We don't we don't know what he said to the ref and before this. You have a yeah. like Dr Draymond wouldn't have tried this with a with an OG referee like a Tony. Do you know Brock. that ref perk? No, I, I don't. I don't. He came in the league after me. Can so. Steph do anything? Like obviously, there he's trying to like call the ref. Down. Is away. there anything he can do? But look at his face. He was about to fight him, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he was fighting him. It wasn't allowed to fight him. Yeah. Would have loved to punch him in the face like he did pull. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That ref right there. You know, he had his hair but, slicked back. But that look ref. At, yeah. But look at Draymond would have loved to put his fist mm -hmm. right through front of face yep. to where hairline is. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's but, what he would have liked. But look at his face. Like, he's exhausted. Who, and Steph or? Draymond? Steph. Yeah. And I, I, didn't, I didn't play with, you know, so many Hall of Famers. Like I didn't, I didn't watch Shaq get on refs. I didn't watch KG get on refs. I didn't watch Paul Ray. Like, and refs would give you a pass because it's a respect thing that is there. Kobe, when we didn't been in the NBA Finals, he didn't got into it with refs, but they know when to take it there and when not to take it there. Right? And the refs understand them too, I see. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. In the moment, not happy. We get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're done. Okay. Let's out. move along. Get it out. And then sometimes it's like you're in the wrong what you're saying, 
is completely out of line. Yeah. And then that's kind of the the. So to AJ's question, I don't know if there's an answer, AJ, because I think situations are situational mm -hmm. there. Care.